Good morning. This is Rick Paul. Without any of the costume, without any of the the pizzazz, as I like to call it, my safety space, the place that I like to hide in as the waistcoat man and, and all the rest of the stuff that I do. And this is just a true reflection of the frame of mind I've got up in this morning. So what I'm going to do is set out what I've actually come on here for. And I just hope you'll enjoy, indulge me for a couple of minutes. So what is this all about? Well, it's what I hope is going to be a, a new feature on my channel. I've often been known for being uh, that if you give me a couple of minutes material that I will go off on a tangent no matter what I'm on. But I think that's down to a very, very strange mindset that I can have it at times i i i am very mood driven when i get up so i've got up this morning in quite a reflective mood and what do i want to talk about well a little bit of frustration going around in my mind i put this background on uh, because at the moment i truthfully feel like i'm banging my head against a brick wall and you know when you go on to certain channels on facebook and things like that where they've got this very vague status and they've got on there i call them what's up hun posts because they deliberately want attention but they're vague in the way that they go about it so i'm very very conscious of the fact that i never want to come across in that way i clear the candy floss i clear the the crap out of the way and say what my reasoning for coming on here is i i am 52 years of age i've had a lot of experiences out there in this world so i'm quite worldly wise but what i'm not is very tech savvy so i have i have ideas in my head when i come and i start to do things and then i automatically expect the world to adjust around me and that isn't a realistic thing so what i've come on here is to address my frustrations with uh this virtual community uh, that I've chosen to inhabit and rather than putting a vague status on I'm just asking for um, attention I am attention seeking you know I will put that up there and say I am attention seeking because I, I were, um, looked at the progress of my channel and uh, I've, I've looked at it and, and I'm really happy that I've put a lot of work and effort into working on my tarot my mediumship and the guidance type of thing that I do. And this is where I'm telling the truth, but it's not progressing at the speed that I wanted it to. So like I always do when I feel like I don't know uh, something, I seek advice from people that I believe do. So I got people to look at my channel and I got uh, some feedback. And I, and I started to look into what I could do to promote it in a little bit of a better way. Now, I have been struggling myself recently with mindset. So I've, I've employed a lot of the strategies that I talk to people about to get myself up and moving. But I feel like at the moment I'm treading in treacle. So I just, I've just got this need, this desire to want to inspire and help people. And, and it's not a case of do what I say. It's if I can share my experiences honestly on this channel, then I'm hoping that somebody picks up um, a little bit of impetus, has a, a few thoughts there that, right, I can adapt what he said there and I can make that uh, into my own and then progress can be made. So I look at formats on there, what what people do on uh, YouTube, Facebook, etc., to to gain um gain a following to gain that rapport with people so i asked the questions and the and the feedback came in um that you need to be consistent on here you need to sort of put out good quality content now i've got loads of stuff and ideas and imaginations in my mind but getting that from here in the brain down to this particular broadcast that you're looking at now I'm finding really really difficult I was doing a bit of research last night and watching somebody on on uh, on YouTube 
and the interaction that they got on one simple 10 minute video was amazing so like me i like to mechanically thought strip down things uh, assess analyze and have a look why he got that engagement why he got that engagement was because he was genuine there wasn't a product to be sold there wasn't anything out there that he needed to draw attention to he was just telling his truth as he saw it as he felt it and i think there's over a thousand comments on this 10 minute video i haven't had a thousand comments on anything that i've i've done total so i'm coming on here and it's it's not a rant or or being disappointed or anything like this i'm, I'm just again putting out that I'm a genuine guy that wants to help people. My work is about helping people um, become their best version of their selves. But in my own mind, I'm falling short of doing that because I'm not getting the um, the response to it. So I, I am going to keep going. I am going to keep persisting to find the answers. It's just that sometimes I get up and, and, and all of this energy builds up in me and I want to let fly with it. I just want to disperse it and dispatch it. Well, you can't come on to these broadcasts and start being negative and dark and things like that because you become a parody if you do that. People will watch you there just to see what shit you're going to let fly out of your mouth just so that they can sit there and it gives them a bit of amusement. I'm not about that. I, I am frustrated. I'm genuinely frustrated because the advice that I got was putting more content on. So I put more content on thinking that my subscribers, the people that are on there, will support me in that because this is um, not just my channel. It's every subscriber that comes on there, their channel as well. And, and, and I feel that over these last 18 months, I've built a rapport with a lot of people. Now, please understand this, right? I'm, I'm saying this from the point of view of a view that I connect with real people out there. I, I tell my truth. It's my stories. It's genuinely happened. But I don't get all of this algorithm stuff. I don't get all of these trolls. I don't understand all of this crap that comes alongside doing all of this work. So I put out a series of, of things that was just me telling my truth and i have managed to lose over these last few days five five subscribers right now to a big channel five subscribers is not a lot of people but to me who's took that 16 months to build to build up now five is a lot of people it's a good bit of percentage so that what that is telling me is that i'm not reaching those people anymore I'm not going to change my approach because I genuinely believe that I am helping people. This is not a gimmick to me. This is a way of life. So I'm not putting a vague status out there. I'm just asking that those that come on here, please feed back to me. Let me know if anything that I do is of any benefit. And there have been people out there that have sent me some lovely messages by email and in the comment sections. And I genuinely appreciate that. I'm I'm in that realistic state of knowing that this won't be a monetized channel, right? So it's not like I'm going to make a living out of it. I'm not uh, one of these internet stars. I'm just a genuine guy that is, is putting my life's hours and my energy into helping people. And at the minute, I'm not succeeding in that. So I'm not making any like wild statuses or anything like that. I just thought I'd sort of come on and mirror what that guy did last night and just say, I'm doing my level best to keep my head above my mental treacle, above that waterline, and keep going. I keep thinking of strategies and things on, the, on there of interest that will come out, but my focus, mental health and wellness, entertaining people, helping them change the thought patterns if they want to. I'm not a guide. I'm not a guru. I'm sat here in this room, in this moment as I'm sat here in my uh, treatment room at home with all sorts of things spinning around in my head. And I don't want to be a ranter or a raver or anything like that. I just want to tell the truth. I don't understand the world we're living in at the moment. So how I see my page, the place that I'm on, is I see it as a refuge for the alternate thought thinkers. 
you know, the people that are tired of the rhetoric of people that are just insisting and throwing stuff at you <coughs> all of the time. See, even saying that has promoted a cough and that cough there is needing to communicate this and get this across. I'm not a political activist. I'm not a um, radical or anything like that. I'm just me. So what I'm hoping to do is gain viewers, gain subscribers. And as I say, when I've looked at my things this morning on YouTube, as I tend to do, I can't understand how something that's been proportioned off the same video and cut has got two views and something else has got 250 views because the effort that's put into putting that together and the genuineness of putting that together is being exactly the same. I apply myself at all levels. So I'm in your hands, guys, really. Um, any feedback that you want to give me, I'll take it. Please don't come on here um, thinking that I'm, it's it's a plea or anything like that, because it isn't. I'm just doing my best to be genuine. Um, and I believe that part of the mindset thing that I'm going through at the moment, that as I've said before, I don't particularly want a label for it, but I do want to understand it, is that there are elements of me that despite wanting to perform on here and do all of my lovely card readings, because I'm sat in the same studio, I've got tarot cards and all of the rest of the stuff that I do, is that I am oversensitive. And this is the thing though, I've put myself in that goldfish bowl. I've got to ex accept that not everything will go right, that I will lose subscribers, that people will not um, always agree with what I've said. Right? And I'd love to say to you watching this, if anybody gets through this far, that I'm absolutely fine with that, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm really not. It, it hurts. But on the plus side of that, I'm admitting to my, I'm not going to say weaknesses, but they are lesser strengths. But it's what I have to cope with every day because I put myself in that arena to be judged. And I accept that. So all I'm saying, and I think with this, this is a genuine, genuine uh, way of acknowledging the situation, the mood frame of mine that I'm in today, but also to give thanks for those of you that have stuck with me, that do send me those wonderful comments. Keep feeding back to me and I will do my level best to... Um, bring in what people actually need but remember mental health awareness support guidance the tarot um as the next tier um and the mediumship and the guidance are all part of the framework of what i do so i'm not going to remove all of that i do not and i repeat this do not understand algorithms and keywords and all of this sort of stuff so i'm just going to keep going Right. But like I said on one of the previous videos, some days it's going to be where I come on and I do um, when I've got my showbiz head on. And I do that and I bring in that upliftment because it fires me. Then other days where I'm working in this mode, I am not a perfect human being. I can be a moody bugger and I get that. But I like that interaction with people out there. So thank you if you're taking the time to watch this. Hopefully you'll, you'll pick up on the thread of what I'm trying to bring across. So each and every subscriber that stays with me, I genuinely appreciate it. I'm going to do my best to learn different techniques and editing and all of the rest of it. But this is me today in this genuine spot, in a place of gratitude, but also a little bit flat. If you want to connect with me, um, the uh, Rick Paul, uh, on 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 here with the, the the thought thinking page. I'm on Facebook, or you can contact me, mediumrick 7 at gmail.com for psychic readings and the tarot. But as I say, what I'm pushing on here, and I'm really pushing, is my guidance sessions where I work with your energy and help you switch a light on um, onto anything there that what I would consider as mind's treacle. So for the 16 months that I've been on here, I just want to say 
it's been a, it's been a tough journey for me. It stretched me out my comfort zone, but there's more to come. So on that, thank you for your time, and I hope you watch me on my next broadcast. So that's Rick's rantings and ramblings for today, the initial broadcast. Thank you very much for tuning in. I hope you have a fantastic day and be that unique and true you speaking your truth. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your time.